but is it as good as Harry Potter? Hmm. Well, I haven't seen Harry <laughs> Potter in so long that I can't answer <laughs> that question. Me neither. That was I another thing. I have not I... seen Harry Potter in ages. Oh, I've seen a, a few time. of them. I haven't seen all of them. So, I don't know. Yeah, I know the, re- the Moria troll yeah. looks better than the first Harry Potter troll. All right. That's... that's... Yes. You just have to, also, have to get that. Uh, the Goblet of Fire, isn't that the one with the time travel? Or No, Prisoner of Azkaban, right? That's yeah. the time travel one. Time tuner, yeah. yeah. Goblet of Fire is the one where it's a very elaborate plan that was unnecessarily elaborate, right? I've seen uh, yeah. addressels of, of that, if that's a word, of that, of that criticism. I can't remember what the counters were. That's the thing, I'm so they out of the loop. Be good. I'm so out of There's the loop on no... Harry Potter stuff that like it's like, hard for me to remember. I don't... I don't want to discount, like, people's defenses of it, but there's no fucking way you couldn't just have Harry touch a port key at any point that you wanted him to and just skip this whole song and dance. I think it's still <laughs> wacky that all those kids can just die in that competition. <laughs> like, yeah, isn't that crazy? They can just fucking die. They can just be like, yeah, the dragon ate the, Billy. Kind of so, you know, <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Billy got fucking eaten by the dragon. Because cause they have to randomly draw, with, and I, this is based off of a lot of past, you know, member, like a, a bit redundant, but it's been a long time since I've read the books and watched the movies. Mm-hmm. But don't they have to, um, they have to randomly select which dragon they fight? And some dragons are pussies. And then Harry, of course, <laughs> gets like the worst one, the Hungarian horn tail. Ooh, the most devious and dangerous of all the dragons. And I'm like, okay, 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 all right. No, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> One of those so like floofy it's... flea, but it's just this fat dinosaur dragon person that just like rolls around. Like oh, you know, there you when go. I was a kid, um, growing up and reading the books as they were coming out, um, I remember when uh, Goblet of Fire was coming out, or the movies, or whatever, wh- whichever one it was, it doesn't matter. And I realized that one of the challenges was you had to go to the mermaids and fight the mermaids to save someone. And I'm mm-hmm. thinking, well, if you haven't figured out that this is all underwater, you just can't even do anything. You can't even participate in the competition because you have to go all the way underwater to this the bottom to, like, of this massive bring, lake. Uh, breathing apparatus prep, don't you? Then they all yeah. have like, different. So yeah. if you don't have that prepped, and you're you're showing up to the challenge, and it's in the middle of the lake, and you're like, oh fuck, uh, what what's this all about? And you haven't figured out that you have to have some underwater like <laughs> device, you're just screwed. You you just can't participate in the challenge with everybody. Hey man, it's ruthless. Okay, and I so guess people die. I don't know. I, die. I I I wouldn't be surprised if Harry Potter falls apart uh, falls apart more than any other <laughs> like series. The I haven't seen it in ages. Actually, it? I, even though I like the films, I consider it to be like the least consistent film franchise ever because. When they make each film, they just adapt specifically from the book rather than a, make a sequel. Mm-hmm. So they don't explain things from like previous films. They just adapt from things the book. Just get, like, like there's forgotten a... or yeah. So there's a part in like the eighth uh, film where he's got like a shard of glass that shows Dumbledore, and that's not in any of the previous films, but it's in the book. So right. if you've not seen the book, you're screwed. Whereas Lord of the Rings obviously was all made at the same time, which really helped. Yeah. And you d- you don't have to have read the books to enjoy the films. Yeah, I was about to say The Lord of the Rings is basically the opposite. It's all the... They're based off of the trilogy, but the films are very much in continuity with one another. This is... Because uh, we're in the month of February. Uh, I don't know that... I don't know if anybody played it, but Hogwarts Legacy came out in February. Oh, I, did oh, I played it quite a bit. Game. I missed that I one. I heard it's a game that's fine. I got in but... trouble for suggesting I was going to make a video about it. Oof. <gasps> How bold of you. Gadzooks. Did you, so you did play it then? Quite a bit, yes. Uh, I was playing it recently, uh, considering a one year later style video for it. Hmm. How does it uh, compare in the the world of gaming? Uh, It is a, I want to say it's like an average video game. And I mean that as a compliment because I find a lot of things kind of distasteful. It, kind of transitions from being a uh, Harry Potter school simulator to just kind of UB slop at the end there. But every now and then I enjoy a good round of McDonald's, so I'm there for slop sometimes. Yeah. Is it like a good framework for future games like a, that, that could be built on in a way that's like more interesting? Uh, the legacy storyline is a bit questionable. They would probably either have to create a new protagonist or not. Um, I think they picked the year, the year five that they did because of the issues that, uh, teleportation 
would cause uh, in setting, uh, given the what in the Harry character. Potter game. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's all right. The, probably the most questionable thing is carrying over the killing curse into this into, into a second game. Oh yeah. Um, I don't I don't know shit about Harry Potter, so I can't like. I, what do you mean? Yeah, what means? Means? No, no. A Vada Kedavra thing that you can just say the words and then people just die, um, is... which is slightly overpowered. You guys, well, seem you have to have like... intent behind it. Just that's just the gendering. that's the rule set, and that makes the player character the biggest sociopath because you can just <laughs> go around killing people willy nilly that you don't even really know. <laughs> uh, you guys are clearly huge Harry Potter fans. Is there a reason why Avada Kedavra is so close to Abracadabra when it's the killing and most serious case? Hey, hey, Rowling is a hack. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if you were going to say the exact <laughs> was, same thing. Yeah, I was like, funny. why would you want to associate with the scariest curse of all time with the goofy <laughs> magic thing? <laughs> oh, wait, I thought I thought it was a Pokemon reference. <laughs> oh, oh nice, Abra and Kedavra nice. and Alakazam, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I will say that J.K. Rowling and uh, the Harry Potter franchise is probably the worst part of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I felt that the game showed that that universe actually has quite a bit of potential when it's not being created by her or in that kind of blood purism plot line that uh, Harry Potter has. Yeah, that seemed to be a really big deal, which always did strike me as odd that that was such a huge central thing and calling someone a mud blood was like the worst insult ever as a kid i was like oh i guess they take it seriously i guess i don't know i, I don't know maybe maybe I'm they didn't quite it's, sell it's the, the cultural way of, of getting into the because the, the world it's itself not the it, best in terms fictional of the design universe, of the, it's not no but there's a lot <laughs> of uh, appropriately magic in the world construction like so, some of it is genuinely quite lovely to look at um, and the books themselves are they are there's there's imagination that goes into them, but on the level of plot, most Too of the much. books just evolve into that they are just effectively murder mystery stories. That's what J.K. Rowling always wanted to do. Is what she's always read, and though it's no coincidence, that's what she went on to write afterwards. Um, and when it comes to actually building out the world with characters and factions, she really doesn't have a huge amount of imagination, which I think is where the whole mudblood thing comes in. It's like, what's the shorthand way of creating uh, an obviously evil group of people? What's like their one thing they'll be focused on? Well, they're basically kind of wizard Nazis who are obsessed with Aryan bloodlines. That's easy, and it's been done, so we'll, we'll just chuck that in there, because then you know that the evil bald man is definitely bad, because he believes in, like, race, for example. Um, and it's it's not the most that's not the most compelling part of it. I thought that the game itself translates a lot of the the better elements of the world of the books quite nicely, but it, it sort of it falls down in the same way the books do. The stories kind of lack towards certainly toward the end. Um, once you get over the initial joy of of seeing all of this familiar stuff, and you get down into the the plot that's supposed to carry you along, you start looking at it. That's really formulaic, and I've seen that a dozen times before. And also, a lot of the stuff you're doing around it to try and make the world feel more fleshed out, like the puzzle systems, are so simplistic that like my five year old would be able to solve most of this stuff. Wait, you have a five year old? So, uh... No, no, a five-year-old, so <laughs> not my five-year-old. So, <laughs> unless, unless there's someone lying around here that I, I haven't been aware of. Um, it's possible, but I don't think it's true. But it's, yeah, like, the game, I've played it a couple of times, and I've also gone back to it a couple of times, just, like, if I've got nothing else to do, I think, oh, I, I remember bits of this being enjoyable, let's see if I can finish it this time. The answer is always no. But, you know, there's a good couple of hours of vague enjoyment in there somewhere. Hey. Uh, someone in chat wants to inform... The, the, the same praise was not given to Forspoken, so <laughs> there's something in there. It uh, is kind of an inverse Bethesda game where it is similar in that it lacks a strong central vision and it's got all these disparate ideas that don't really work together. And yet it has just enough charm with a lot of its mechanics that it can still compel you to play it, even though parts of it are pretty bad. Well, uh, it's like the first part of it, I found it really slow, like sometimes yeah. in a yes. good way, sometimes in a bad way. Um I kind of like the mechanics of it, like the shooting spells felt like this weird novel in between place between fighting and like shooting a gun. There's like, there's a bit of a delay in like shooting spells and then stuff just blows up as if you like shot. That's real bullet. guns. <laughs> Pretty um, real guns are real guns. There's, there's something about casting spells that I enjoyed, but it was just, it takes so long to like get going. Yeah. But then, like, when I was in the, like, I picked Ravenclaw, and I'm wandering around the commons room, and I'm soaking in, like, all these students are sitting around having oh, conversations. Oh, you get a house? How did, yes. what, that was, you were a Ravenclaw based in Red Pilled. Yeah, well, those, you, 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 you pick one of the houses, right? You, you, the sorting hat puts you in one. Oh, and you so it, 
how does what if you it disagree with a hat? It's, it's, so you, you, you do a question there. There's only two questions in the questionnaire, so it's like it's one of the least. It, I, I wanted a bit for, more for depth. For that, there's there's four houses, there's only two yeah. questions. Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> it says, I think you should probably go into one of these houses, and you can still say no. I think I should be in the other one. The shorting hat says, okay, that's fine. So like, sure. you get put in Hufflepuff, and you can just say no, fuck it, I want to be Slytherin, and it says fine, dear, that's that's all good. Yeah, if I um, got if I went to Hogwarts and it put me in Hufflepuff, I'd just be like, you know what, I don't I really want just to quit. Be a Which is funny just, because yeah. it's actually the second best house in the game. What's it? I mean, <laughs> Gryffindor isn't the best, is it? No, uh, the best oh, is Slytherin and then Hufflepuff, based. and that has to do with the content. There's like a single quest that oh, the house will unlock. That's lame. Like you, uh, a, you think so? But yeah, if if well, it depends on what you mean by uh, better with content. Like if it's literally, it's just, it's just it's very early in the game. It's a single quest, but when you play a Slytherin character, you feel a lot more attached to kind of the side characters because the main kind of character-driven plotline involves a lot of Slytherin characters. Yeah, you wouldn't you want to? That it was. Uh, you think that being in a house would almost be like choosing a, um, like a star sign. In... Yeah, I actually quite vibed with it coming from Elder Scrolls. It's kind of a semi-exclusive kind of faction perk system that encourages replayability. I I quite as long as we can all agree here. that Hufflepuffs are fucking losers, well, yeah, yeah. then yes. I think we're well, yeah. I'm, I'm totally up for exclusive content based on houses, but not for like one of them being explicitly the best one, once you understand enough about the game. It reminds me of like, if they're a all balanced of the... and encourage replayability. Well, yeah. I mean fine. best in terms of the story that gets told. In their, Even that, uh, it'd be nice if <laughs> you know, they, they put as much effort into the right of all four of them. I would have thought Gryffindor would end up with the best story. Uh, Yawn. Oh, you're a Gryffindor. Oh, yeah, Gryffindor is incredible. Boring. Yeah, let me guess. You have a fox. <laughs> oh, wow. That's very you're a courageous <laughs> lad. I gotta say, you guys are just sort of speaking like nonsense to me. I don't understand any of this. All right, so, yeah, I, don't I don't think it was that hard to follow. I'm not exactly Harry fucking Cooper. the Potter oh, head. What, why, why, why is Gryffindor, why is that better than or worse than like the it other is one? The... It's, it's the house the good, the, the protagonist in Harry Yeah, Potter the good guy. When you said there was two questions, I thought you were gonna be like, "Are you good or evil? Are you intelligent or <laughs> retarded?" And then that would sort it out. Of like a exactly. Z. All the evil it's retarded truly, people go to it's, no, 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 it's like, what do you value most? Bravery, loyalty, intelligence, or power? I yeah. Guess one of the questions. They actually power. Oh, geez, you're Slytherin. just filtering evil kids into Slytherin. <laughs> so okay, so well, J.K. So, Okay, so these are like houses in the Harry Potter world at like the school, and so so Gryffindor is what? That's the the lame protagonist. Brave one. heroes. Yeah. They're brave. Ravenclaw is like the so, cunning, smart, so, good people, and then okay, so they're they're ones guess, and Slytherin like yeah, the yeah Slytherin are cunning. Builds. They're the evil ones. And Pretty what, much the evil ones. Hufflepuff are gay. Is that like the <laughs> blue book? Like, it, what is that one? Is that like the the clown one? What is it? Hufflepuff. Yeah. Yes. Which one? Hufflepuff is the clown one. Hufflepuff. They got the short end of the stick from JK. They got the least focus in terms oh, yeah. of the writing, but generally they're supposed to be about loyalty and camaraderie, even though Gryffindor oh, yeah. just exhibit that more. Yeah, so and, and really wasn't it Cedric sense. is the only notable Hufflepuff in, in the entire saga? Like, and he died? <laughs> I, I think so. I think maybe Luna Lovegood was in that house too, but I mean, it's a very, they don't talk about it much. There's an in-joke yeah. in the Harry Potter community that says, that goes along the lines of, what the fuck is a Hufflepuff? Mm-hmm. It's, it's not, not even just Harry. It's not a good name. Ravenclaw sounds even, way fucking Ravenclaw cooler than Hufflepuff. Nice. Yeah, and cool. Like, I'm a raven, and I got claws, and look at that. Yeah, I don't know. Hufflepuff just, Hufflepuff just sounds fat. It just makes me think of, like... <laughs> it makes fluffy. Think of a scared little rabbit <laughs> running away. Their house is actually next to the kitchen, believe it or not. Oh my god. I don't know, it makes me think of, the, like, Snorlax a little bit. The, like, Snorlax maybe would chill, be though. the kitchen yeah. that's hey, full listen, of slaves. Hey, listen, her name is Gorlock, okay? I got that. It's not oh, even just Harry that. and Gryffindor. It's like it, like it's also Ron and Hermione, which makes sense because you know they got to talk to each other in the commons room to like dish out plot details, so they're all on the same page. But it just like, and plus Gryffindor has like the warmest colors out of all of them. It just yeah, it's got like red, is... gold. red and gold. And yeah. uh, mm. Professor Dumbledore was a, a Gryffindor too. Of course oh, he was. Of right. He you know, cheats he's and just hands them the house cup at the end of the book. He's like, well, you've been <laughs> it's, shit it's all year, but I'm going to give all of you 50 points for being brave. <laughs> now you win. Well done. Right. Guys, we can't talk about Harry Potter and how shit it is. We have to talk about 2023. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be... No, we are. We're doing exactly <laughs> what we intended to do. I love how we've almost spent more time 
We spent more time on a thing that none of us played. <laughs> like, yeah. We're just bitching about Hufflepuffs. <laughs> well, it, I mean, why not? Because I was going to say, I just like why the not? joke of you could enter any house, but if you come out as gay during it, you have to go straight to Hufflepuff. This <laughs> 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 is how the rules work, I'm afraid. Um, what I was trying to say like 10 minutes ago was someone in chat let you know, Rags, because you, you have a couple of gaps in knowledge. That uh, Abracadabra actually predates Pokemon. They wanted to make sure you understood that. Oh, did they? oh, Does it? okay. Yeah. I oh, all right. Oh, thanks for clearing that up yeah, for me. Because yeah. I, I was laboring under the impression that but, it was a Pokemon mm -hmm. reference, but actually it was the oh. Because when so they maybe the Abracadabra Pokemon and Alakazam to the words. Yeah, they yeah, actually inspired yeah. a lot of people. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Right. You oh. understand when they called when they called him Squirtle, that was actually the origin of the words. Turtle and squirt. So also, Harry Potter. Back to Harry also Potter. Really so, uh, <laughs> right, right. Back to Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, I was going to mention yeah, that uh, time, someone said it was travel. from the Aramaic, is why it, it apparently translates from destroy them or something uh, of Adakadabra. That's where it's from. Oh, Though I still would have recommended against it because it sounds too much scary. like Abracadabra. So they base so they based Aramaic off of a Pokemon. Yes. It's it's strange I, I, because weird, many of the spells older, but... are based on Latin. Interesting. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense, you know, it's kind of the go-to for old languages that people kind of, you know, live Well, as I understand, uh, the Romans were supposed to be foundational in setting to magic, uh, and they learned it from the Atlanteans. And they Are got you it fucking from... around with me, or is this actually in the books, just to be, just so we're on the same page? I don't know if you're memeing or not. This is Harry Potter. You're gonna uh, have to... I'm... I'm half and half. As, as I, understand, <laughs> I, I believe the connection to Latin was in the books, but I don't know about Atlantis. Oh, okay. You can't you can't do this when we're talking about well, Harry does, Potter because we will. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> did the Atlanteans get it from Pokemon or did the Romans? I assume it started with Pokemon because the Pokemon are of nature itself. Yeah. Right? So everything we all know that. that. Well, Pokemon, Pokemon, uh, the civilization in there is actually the pre uh, pre apocalypse civilization. I don't know if many people know that. Mm. No, I didn't. Well, I, I didn't know we had a Poke historian here. Um, but that's yeah. it's good. That's good. You that'll, familiar that'll with the streamer well Pokemon? Is a or Pokemon? Is, is you do you know a lot about her? If you're a Poke historian, no. All right. <laughs> I think the <laughs> best she Pokemon cookies, belongs though, she? to Arcanine. <laughs> yes, she makes cookies. Yeah. That's... Hello, you just listened to a segment of the podcast Every Frame of Pause, or EFAP, hosted by YouTubers Mauler, Rags, and Fringy, and joined by a cycling variety of guests across the internet. They critically analyze media with exhaustive detail while pausing at every single frame. Subscribe to the EFAP channel and catch new episodes on Saturdays, as well as catch their smaller videos reacting to the latest and not-so-greatest movies and TV shows throughout the week. You can also subscribe here to EFAP highlights for the latest shorts, clips, and supercuts also up uploaded throughout the week. Links to all the relevant channels can be found in the description section below, as well as links to their communities on Reddit and Discord. Thanks for watching.